Bro, it's been a minute since we've done an outdoor test video, man. For real, man. I test drives the fits, new series. Test drive the fits, part two. I swear the last time we done test drive the fits was like nine months ago or something. Yeah, and it's crazy because we started with winter jackets and now we're back with winter now jackets. We're back. That's how long it's been, bro. We skipped the whole winter, bro. <laughs> Guys, listen, in this video, I'm going to be looking at three Stone Island jackets, okay? Now, if you remember when I went to the Stone Island Amsterdam store, the flagship store, and I was actually looking at some Stone Island camo jackets. It's actually crazy because there's three jackets. They look very similar, but yeah. they're also really different but in terms really of different. the silhouette and cut and fit. Exactly. I managed to source some, so we're outside. It's cold, winter time, freezing. I've got a Canada goose on, but it's mad warm, so I'm all good. But are the Stone Island jackets as warm as we think they are? We're gonna find out in this video, bro. So guys, if you like anything in this video, go to the links in the description box below. This video has been sponsored by Farfetch. So if you see anything you like, make sure to go and check it out. Let's get on with it. So this is the first jacket, okay? This is the Stone Island Nylon Ripstop camo jacket. I actually found out that it was part of a collection of prints that they did back in the early 90s and this is a revisitation of that print. Well, some people might say there's too much colours going on, that it's a little bit overly done in terms of colours, but I like the fact that it's a little bit different and I think with the camo mix, it, I think it goes really, really well. So for me, looks wise on this jacket, I, I do really like it, but I do understand there's going to be some people that are going to think, you know what, practicality wise, wearing this jacket, it's just going to be a bit too much. I think it's a really nice jacket. I think it's a statement piece. It's something that you'd wear when you're going somewhere special or important. Yeah, yeah. Or if you're into your fashion and your fashionista, this is all you. And I've always thought purple and green bounce off each other well. Yeah, true. And I feel like the red connects the two colours together. Yeah, man, I have to agree. So the outer construction is a rip stop technology. So that basically means you can see you've got these really kind of thin lines going all the way through. And that basically renders the jacket highly water resistant and also very, very durable as well. And there's down insulation inside this jacket. It is quite puffy as well. Almost feels a little bit and reminds me a little bit of a denim as well, although it's not. I'm just wearing a sweatshirt today. It's quite cold outside, but this jacket is keeping me quite warm. So the normal badge on the side of the arm there as per usual. And we've got the new uh, 30 logo. Good to see. That they've got the 30 logo there, so that's all good. So if you want to check the jacket, you can check it online. Bro, now, random one. What is the significance with YKK zippers? Because I do hear this said, but I just don't really know anything about it. So if you could break it down. So YKK zippers are Japanese zippers. They've been going on for, I think, I think it's for 100 years, probably more, something like that. But they're, they're the most renowned zippers in the world. So if you right. look at a lot of garments, they use YKK zippers. Basically, they're just like your OG zippers. They they never give any issues. They're like really, really, re really reliable. They're very well made. So just imagine a company that's just dedicated itself to making the best zip zippers in the world. And they do a vast variety of different grades, different quality, different colors. So yeah, that, that that's all it is. Just think of it like the Bentley of zippers, if you want right. to call it that. So yeah, that's, that's, that's what the YKK is. Always nice to have a good history lesson with Fox, man. You know it makes sense, you know it makes sense. second jacket from the camo collection which has just been released recently so this one is different from the other one whereas it doesn't have the down insulation on the inside so this is probably what you, is going to be more of like a rain jacket or your kind of light winter jacket without the insulation on the inside so this could be good for, for like really thick knits, thick sweaters with the hoods. You know what as well? I feel like with this jacket here, yeah, even though that you've still got the diverse colour palette, mm -hmm. it is more like of a safe option. So like you could probably wear this more frequently than the other one. Yes, I agree with you. Can you put the hood on just to see how the hood is? I think I prefer this to the first one, you know? Yeah? But yeah. I really like this. I don't know what it is. There's something about it that I really like. I don't know if it's the material feels a bit more widgets. See, this is the SI Heritage Camo Ripstop Nylon Watch Row. 
So this is a special Stone Island material, the Watro. You can see we've got the ripstop uh, uh, material on the outside again, so that will be highly water resistant, very, very um, durable. Got this kind of military feel. It's a little bit longer than the other jacket as well, so I've got a little bit more protection just past the hip which is quite nice. Even though it's not down insulated, it does feel wind resistant. So I don't feel any breeze hitting me at all because the material, even though it's lightweight, is quite thick. So yeah, so looks wise of this jacket, I'm really liking this one, man. It's got the hood as well. Just makes the jacket feel a little bit more complete. And also we've got the mouth guard here as well. So when you do that up, that's gonna protect the bottom part of your face, your nose and your mouth. So yeah, thing on the inside, funny enough, don't even have our famous Stone Island in a black pocket where you can put your mobile phone and your wallets and stuff. So they haven't included that in the jacket, which is which is a shame, really. All right, bro. So what? We're going to move on to the last jacket. Final one. The last bro. jacket is a bit of a beast, so I'm going to go and get that one out. Okay. So let me see if I can show you this. Actually, I think this one is probably my favourite out of the three jackets. See, it's got two different colours on each side so on this side you've got more like the purples and the reds and on this side you've got like the pinks and you've got a little bit of green there as well so yeah but the other thing that i love about this one is it's actually got the dutch rope see that little piece of string there that is the dutch rope system that goes all the way inside the jacket and you have this kind of padded fleece or padded um padded gilet on the inside of the jacket which can be taken off by the way it just helps to insulate the jacket whilst it's warm also if you look here you've got nice bits of detail with the hook you can see the hooks there on the jackets that's the uh, part where you fasten the jacket don't know if you can see that right there this one does have a hood it's tucked away um just right by the collar so if i can just it's got some quick release velcro so i can undo that and i can put the hood on if i really want to so yeah i think this one in terms of looks i feel like this one is probably going to be my second favorite out of the two in terms of looks this is highly water resistant again it uses the ripstop material on the inside of the jacket so it renders it um what highly water resistant windproof and very durable as well quite a few pockets on this one just like the second jacket so i've got two pockets on the lower half of the jacket two pockets on the upper part of the jacket and on this one i've got a pocket inside the gilet there as well and yeah nothing much apart from that so guys listen that's it for the review i hope you enjoyed it i hope you really like this video i've got more videos like this one i'm going to be doing some outdoor tests so make sure you stay tuned for it don't forget to drop a like on this video and if you see anything you like on this video go down to the links in the description box below guys i'm out of here lots more coming peace